From exotic delicacies that challenge your palate, to culinary traditions that might make your jaw drop, the world is full of very unusual delicacies. In this week's video, we are diving into the fascinating world of strange foods, exploring the diverse and sometimes bizarre dishes that define cultures around the world. So buckle up and let's get into it. The first on the list is the bird's nest soup. Already this delicacy has a very unusual name and that's enough to keep me away from it. But it gets even more unusual. This culinary wonder hailing from the Southeast Asia is a concussion made from Swiftlet bird saliva. Yes, you heard me right, bird saliva. Swiftlets create their nests from their own gummy secretions. These secretions are then carefully harvested and transformed into a silky, translucent soup. This delicacy is renowned for its exquisite flavor and is believed to possess incredible health benefits. So, if you're in the mood to expand your palate and taste something different and unusual, you could try the bird's nest soup. If you're a coffee lover and you've always wondered what coffee beans, digested and pooped by cats, taste like, you should definitely try the Kopi Luwak. This drink, known as the world's most exclusive coffee, boasts a jaw-dropping secret. It is brewed from beans that have embarked on an extraordinary journey through the digestive tract of civet cats. These cats select and consume only the ripest coffee cherries. Then their stomach enzymes work their magic during digestion. After being excreted, the beans are thoroughly cleaned and roasted to create a coffee with a flavor profile so unique it is both coveted and celebrated worldwide. Sounds interesting, but I think I'll stick to my non-excreted coffee beans. Thank you. It's common to crave some beef with your food, as it has its way of complementing whatever meal you're preparing or eating. However, it's less common to crave the feet or head of a cow or sheep to add to your meal. That's the last part of the animal people think of eating. Well, not for those in Middle Eastern countries. Kash is a culinary tradition that defies the ordinary. It involves simmering cow or sheep feet or head for hours until the bones dissolve, leaving a jelly-like consistency. This culinary adventure is famous for its unusual texture and the belief that it's best consumed in the early morning. It's a dish known for its bold flavors and rich cultural significance. This daring delicacy is a testament to the idea that no part of an animal goes to waste. It is often served at early morning gatherings and its unique combination of ingredients and preparation make it both a culinary curiosity and a cherished cultural experience. Prepare to be awed by the Scottish culinary curiosity, known as haggis. This legendary dish features a hearty mix of sheep's heart, liver, and lungs, all minced with onions, oatmeal, and spices. But here's the unusual part. It's all encased in a sheep's stomach. Haggis is not just a meal. It's a symbol of Scotland's rich cultural heritage. Its intriguing blend of ingredients and unique preparation makes it a true culinary adventure that beckons the daring to indulge in a taste of Scotland's history. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if your food could move on its own and even try to get away from your plate? No? Um, okay, well, the South Koreans would be in a better place to explain their experience to you. Sanakji is a South Korean dish that consists of live octopus tentacles that are served immediately after being chopped, ensuring that they writhe and squirm with every bite. The tentacles' tenacity and the sensation of suction cups clinging to your palate creates a dining experience that is both shocking and oddly thrilling to its consumers. I personally like my food very dead, but if you're a daring food enthusiast, you could try this traditional dish out. If maggots make you squirmy, I recommend you stay very far away from this dish and this section of the video. Katsumartu, a cheese from the island of Sardinia, Italy, takes the concept of fermented foods to a whole new level. It is not just any cheese. 
It's a living, breathing ecosystem of cheese, complete with wriggling insect lava. These little critters break down the cheese, giving it a creamy, unique texture and an unforgettable build flavor. While it might sound shocking, it is celebrated as a culinary masterpiece and a testament to the world's diverse and daring palates. This next meal is just weird from all angles. Picture this, cow or pig brains, carefully breaded and fried into crispy perfection. Despite its eyebrow-raising reputation, the fried brain sandwich has a cult following in certain parts of the United States. The surprising texture and unique flavor of the brains make it an unforgettable and audacious treat for those brave enough to take a bite without gagging. Oh boy, you might want to take a very deep breath before we explore this next cuisine because it gets very weird. If you step into a restaurant to dine and on the menu you see the name Rocky Mountain Oysters, do not, and I repeat, do not mistake that for seafood. These oysters, quote-unquote, aren't from the sea. In fact, very far from it. They are bull testicles, buttered, deep-fried, and served as a crunchy frontier delicacy. I'll give anything to know what the inventor's train of thoughts were when first preparing this dish. I'll give anything. Shirako, a culinary curiosity from Japan, is not for the faint of heart. It isn't out of the ordinary to crave fish meat, regardless of the method with which it's prepared. However, you agree with me that it's quite unusual to crave undeveloped fish straight from the sperm sacs of the daddy fishes. Also known as white children, shirako is a dish made from the milt or sperm sacs of male fish, often called. What's shocking is that these creamy milky sacs are considered a delicacy and relished for their unique texture and subtle, briny flavor. Dining on fish reproductive organs may sound unusual, but in Japan, it's a testament to the notion that every part of an ingredient can be transformed into a delicacy. This next dish could either leave you amazed or appalled by its oddity. This dish is no ordinary seafood. Hakar is a traditional Icelandic dish made from fermented shark meat. What's truly shocking is the smell. It's so pungent that it could knock you off your feet. But here's the fascinating part. Despite its overpowering odor, hakar is considered a delicacy in Iceland. The shark meat goes through a unique preservation process involving burying it on the ground for months, allowing it time to ferment. When served, it has an acquired taste with a strong ammonia-like flavor that's sure to leave your taste buds both bewildered and intrigued. Hakar is the ultimate love it or hate it dish. Snake wine is a jaw-dropping elixir that has captivated the world with its unique, almost otherworldly allure. Imagine a bottle of rice wine infused with an entire snake, venomous fangs, scales and all. These bizarre concoction hails from countries like Vietnam, China and Thailand, where it's believed to have medicinal properties. The process involves submerging a snake, often a venomous one, in rice wine and letting it ferment for months or even years. As it ages, the snake's venom breaks down, rendering it safe to consume. But don't be fooled, this isn't just about the shock value. People claim it has unique flavors and can even enhance one's vitality. So, if you're up for a spine-tingling adventure with your wine, snake wine is waiting to astound your taste buds and your sense of daring. I swear it looks like this list keeps getting weirder as I read through it. What might look like a regular sausage has a shocking twist that's bound to intrigue and perhaps astonish your taste buds. Black pudding, also known as blood pudding, is a blood sausage made from animal blood. Yes, you heard me right. This dark delicacy is a blend of pig's or cow's blood mixed with various ingredients like oats, barley, or spices. The result is a deep, earthy, and surprisingly flavorful sausage that's both shocking and oddly satisfying. 
It's a hearty and traditional dish found in various forms around the world, from the UK and Ireland to Spain and beyond. Black pudding may look intense, but its rich, almost nutty flavor is an adventure for those bold enough to try it, aka not me and probably not you. Let me know if you've tried any of these dishes in the comment section below and what the experience was like. If you've watched this video till this point and you enjoyed it, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I upload videos every Friday. Speaking of uploads, I would like to apologize for the uploading last week's and the week before. Thank you for your patience and support. I also want to say a huge welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you for joining this growing community. With that said, thank you all for watching and I'll be back next week.